Hey, what's up? Um, well, from the title, I'm sure you guys have an idea of what this vlog is gonna be about. Actually, I'm gonna think if if uh, I share it or if I upload it or if I'm going to do this vlog. Na to. But well, going back to the core of the channel, which is to tell stories, my story, share my stories. So I said, okay, let me tell you a story. A story when I had COVID. Backtrack na tayo ng konti because uh, it was during the week of March 15 to March 19. Um, March 18 and 19, that was a Thursday and a Friday. Ano may nilabanan yung katawan ko na lagnat? Tayo naman kasi pag nagkakatrangkaso lang, okay lang, diba? Let's just fight it off. Mas okay pag nalabanan natin. So, nangyari yon ng 18 and 19. That was Thursday and a Friday. Then Saturday, March 20, kumakain ako ng dinner. Parang hindi ko masyadong malasahan. Nalalasahan ko pa pero parang hindi, parang hindi ko nalalasahan ng tama yung food. So okay lang, okay lang. Then Sunday came, sobrang hina na ng lasa ng kape, then yung food, and then realize ko na, wait lang, this is strange because yung pabango ko hindi ko naaamoy. So that afternoon, sabi ko kila mama at papa, hindi mo na ako sasama mag-dinner. So hindi ako nag-dinner with them. Tapos, hindi na makatulog ng ayos. Then March 22, Monday, imbis na isipin ko pa, imbis na i-deny ko, I, I wanna deny it. I wanna, I don't wanna accept it. I don't wanna entertain the fact na baka meron na akong COVID or baka positive ako. But then, the only way to know if positive talaga o hindi is to really face it and go through it. Go through the swab test. Ito yung swab test na sobra akong pinabahan of all the swab tests that I've done. So March 22, swab test ako. Pagdating sa hospital, kailangan pala ng referral or request. Tanong ng nurse, sabi mo na experience ka bang symptoms? Sabi ko, loss of taste and smell. Parang sobrang faint na lang niya, 10%, 8%. And sabi niya, kailangan ng referral. Sabi ko, ma'am, ayoko nang mapraning. <laughs> Then kumuha sila ng referral from the doctor. Nag-antigen ako and RT-PCR. The antigen was positive. Sabi agad ng nurse sa akin, isolate myself for 14 days, just wait for the RT-PCR results. So I just have to say, my favorite movie of all time, Jurassic Park. Rawr! Yep, uh, positive. Actually, na test ako March 22. Today is March 26. Na kuwang result March 23, the day after. Alam mo? Depende rin kasi yung March 26, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 5. 5. Today's day 5. Actually, pinag-isip ako talaga kung magre-record ba ako. I-vlog ko ba ito? Sabihin ko ba sa vlog? Pero, ah, uh, lang naman. Feeling good. Tsura ko. Tsura to. Ano na? Tsura yan, ha? Taking vitamin D3. Quercetin with uh, bromelain. Bromelain. Basta quercetin. And of course, zinc. Siyempre, Vitamin C. And actually, pinadalhan ako ng Lianhua ni Teacher Lani. So, currently, I just started taking these three. So, what am I feeling right now? I don't know what to say. But, today's day 5. So, document ko na lang anong mangyayari. Day 5. So, tomorrow, day 6. Obvious, no? Day 6 bukas. <laughs> Workout din ako today. Hindi ko alam eh. Um, sabi nila wag daw mag-workout pero pag di ako nag-workout doon ko nararamdaman talaga yung nanghihina ako and though while working out may konting shortness of breath lang but okay naman but yeah praise God nakaka-workout pa rin ako kahit uh, no I have this ulang ko kanina was sinigang alam mo sobrang takam na takam ka sa sinigang kaso hindi mo malasahan ang sinigang alright what we did um Siyempre, nung nalaman na positive, ginawa namin yung mga dapat gawin talaga. One is isolation. Kung baga may part na ng bahay na akin lang yon off-limit sila mama, yun lang yung pwede kong galawan. Nung una, enjoy pa eh. Ni-enjoy ko pa nung una eh. Pero, nung tumagal, parang, oh, 
Ito na lang, ito na lang, ito na lang gagalaw ako. <laughs> I'll give you guys a quick tour. Abang tulog na rin lahat para hindi kami magsasalubong, hindi kami magkikita para safe lang for them, para they're resting. Then ako ito, kaunting labas lang. Pero yun nga, I have my own area. Um, may sarili lang lugar. Bawal sila mama, off limit sila mama. So nakahati talaga siya. May nakamaze. So let me show you. So from my room, access ako dito sa likod to my gym area. Gym area here. Sarili na akong dispenser, my own water heater for my coffee, air disinfectant, basta yung may smoke dyan. Then this area, then this area, itong babaan na to, ako lang may access sa likod. See that? See this? Dapat dirty kitchen yan. Pero may harang na because this is my area. Plastic. May harang access sa kitchen because wala akong sariling CR. So that I can have my own access bathroom. Kaya ginawa ng maze tong bahay. <laughs> Feeling ko labrat ako. <laughs> Natin ilaw. Mayroon sariling coffee corner dito. Lagyan like tong morning. Ito ah, kus. Si Gian. Padala. Look. Padala niya to. Sabi niya, basket of fruits. Father and son moment mo na kayo ni Lord Jan na. Tsaka TikTok. <laughs> Jesus name. This is Kapekan Laon. In order ko siya. Kasi nga, nung napanood ako na, ang, na masarap daw siya. So, order ako dalawa. The day na dumating dito was the day nagpa-swab na ako and wala na akong maamot. So, pagbukas kong ganito, wala akong maamot. Tapang na to ah, paglalaban ka. Kaso wala, wala talaga. Uh, ramdam ko na mapait siya. I know maybe it's just psychological cause. I know it's it, it, it's supposed to to, 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 to to taste bitter. Ang hirap explain, ramdam ko na mapait siya. Pero hindi ko malasahang kapi siya. Gets. I was only able to document everything come day 4. Kasi day 2 was the hardest. Because... Evening of day 2, parang bigat ng pakiramdam ko. Bakit ang lungkot lang? Sabi ko, hindi naman siya dahil lang nag-positive ako. Hindi lang dahil dun eh. It was more than that. And I wanted to talk to friends kasi parang ayoko naman silang istorbohin. And it was just so lonely. Parang mag-isa ka lang. Alam mo namang may mga tao nandyan para sa'yo. Pero parang ang lungkot lang talaga. Parang may gusto kang ilabas. Kaso may nakabara. And I've come to realize na patong-patong na pala siya from, from the previous months. Kung baga, cherry on top na lang si COVID from the things that I tried to suppress. So that night, kinig ako ng preaching, kanya worship, and sabi ko, Lord, gusto ko umiyak, pati ko kayang umiyak, may, may nakabara. But after that, I was just able to cry everything to God. Yung bang nailabas mo yung mga unexplainable feelings. <laughs> yung bang nailabas mo yung mga hindi mo ma-explain na bagay. And it's so comforting because you know God is there comforting you he's being a father that was probably the hardest toughest in day two you guys should check this out uh, bible plan by craig rochelle so legit minsan talaga ang magagawa mo na lang talaga is to, to cry out to god and hindi cry out na ano hindi cry out na 
magmaktulit. It's cry out in the form of surrender. A surrendering what you feel, well, the heaviness, the situation. I mean, I would, I would consider myself uh, still in a good position compared to others that have been na positive. But yeah, yun nga eh, na parang, ha? Ah, positive ako? Pero, so grateful, praise God pa rin, kasi nararamdaman ko, I would say, wala pa siya sa kalahati ng nararamdaman ng ibang tao na positive or naramdaman ng ibang tao or pinagdaanan nila. The moment you find out that you're positive kasi, fear yung papasok sa'yo immediately. Parang, ha? Ako talaga nag-positive? Talaga ba? We, yun yung reaction, but like, there's fear, initial fear. Like, what's gonna happen? It said, di ba? Perfect love cast out fear. So we hold on to that ultimate love. We cry out to that ultimate love to cast out that fear and know and trust that you got me, Lord. Yeah. Ben, may devotion lang ako. Nag-share na ako. Yeah. Hindi <laughs> ko talaga siya malas. Hahan. Kape. Bumalik ka na, kape. Kape. Road. Your road. <laughs> road to taste buds. Aside dun sa trangkaso or fever na nilabanan ng katawan ko for two night. Loss of taste and smell. Occasionally, um, nahirapan ako huminga. May uh, parang shortness of breath lang. Nararamdaman ko siya every time nag workout ako. Yung mga nakaalam na positive ako, they were saying na pag nalaman nila na pag sinabi ko sa kanila na nagkaka-workout ko lang or mag-workout ako or nag-workout ako, sinasabi nila doon. I don't know why. Um, hindi ko na na-research to. But personal conviction ko na lang siya na if I don't work out, doon ko mas nararamdaman yung nanghihina ako, lumulubog ako. So, working out was one of my outlets and sa yun sa mga nakatulong. Though minsan during rest or bin Though minsan during rest, minsan nahihirapan din. Huwag nga parang may shortness of breath, but I just had to go through it and took medicines also and gamot. So, buti lang talaga doon siya nag-end. Uh, may, may nilaban ng lagnat, then loss of taste and smell and shortness of breath. May slight. Nakakaamoy na ako ng slight. Actually, last night, nung nag-shower ako, sabi ko, bakit parang may mabango? Medyo napasay na ako. Sabi ko, pero may, may nakawala minsan. So, tried it to... I tried it this morning with coffee. Nakamoy ko ng kape. Pero, pero hindi kagaya nung day 2, day 3, day 4 na wala talaga. <laughs> Kahapon, I couldn't smell anything. Today, may hint na ng coffee. Hint, ha? Hint. I would say na sa 20-30%. Day 7. A week ago, dito ko na-realize na parang wala akong pang-amoy at pang-lasa. Pang-lasa though, wala pa. Kasi 8% out of 100, ha? Slowly. Getting there. Okay? Danda lang. Danda lang, danda lang. Danda lang, danda lang. Got a care package from <sighs> Ito Butch. Sobrang salamat po. Thank you so much. Ito Butch, Ito Trisha, and Migs, and the Beach, the rest of the Jimenezes. Maraming salamat po. Love you guys. Aww. Aww. I love it. I would have my care package. Shh. <laughs> The care package just never stop. Wow. Wala tayo damit kasi ang init. Pero galing ito kay Gian ni Nolan. Ano meron? <laughs> Calcium ascorbate plus zinc para sa tamol. Ingat. And G, thank you so much. Even now, breathe hope in the life of every person that's watching here today or listening to this podcast. Lord, let there be hope. Our hope is in you. The Bible says in Psalms, Lord, why so downcast, O my soul? Put your hope in God, for yet will I praise Him. Lord, for yet will I praise Him. Yet will we praise you. Lord, our hope is not on a vaccine. It's great that we have a vaccine. Our hope is not on on provision of our jobs or our bosses' approval. Our hope is in you. God, let us fix our eyes on you. Let us know that you are God. You are for us, 
never against us. Lord, we pray that we would st stand on your word every single day. We would trust you. We would know you. We would hope in you that our confidence would truly be in you and you alone. In you alone, God. And thank you for the blessing of family and provision and jobs and business. But it's in you and you alone that we can truly have hope. So let it be, Lord, that as, as the King has come into Jerusalem, let the King come into our lives. Let the King of glory come. And Lord, we welcome you. Oof. Let's all face it. Dumating yung time na naging complacent tayo na para yung guard natin bumababa. Yes, nagbamask tayo ng face shield pero sa bahay parang okay na lang. I admit, yun yung one of the things na nagawa ko was to let my guard down lalo na dito sa bahay. And so it's one of the things na talagang nabago and I took, um, I took it very seriously this time. I'm taking it very seriously this time. Cleanness, disinfect, and bisita or mga ganong bagay. Hmm. Day 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Day 7, kasi day 0 ko daw is March 22, the day I got swab tested. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29. Day 7, 10 days quarantine. Buti na lang kasi kahapon, I got a message, may, may contact nga daw, confirming. So, they ask, tatanong sila ng mga kilas information. Then, saka pa lang i-decide kung ang day zero ko ay kahapon, day one today, or day zero ko is yung day ng swab test. So, inisip ko, ilang araw na yun, day seven, tapos babalik sa zero, ano na? Paisip lang ako, kasi kahapon, the LGU, the barangay, they got in touch with me. That was yesterday. Day six ng quarantine ko. Then, from what I know, the hospitals, but the hospitals should be the one reporting the cases, the positive cases, sa LGU. Tama ba? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yun din pagkakasabi, sa akin din ang alam ko, yun din ang sinabi nung nakausap ko kahapon from the local health office. So kami naman, na-report na namin after namin makuha yung result, which was, uh, lumabas yung result 23, pero nakuha pa namin 25 or 24. Walang email, walang text yung hospital. Hindi ko na sabihin ko nung hospital. Nakuha na namin siya like, Two days after. Sabi na kausap ko, bakit wala nag-report sa kanila? Hindi, kung hindi kami nag-report, wala magre-report na hospital ng case ko or ng results ko. Ang iniisip ko lang is, if hindi ko nireport, hindi namin nireport yung case ko, yung result ko sa local government unit, so floating ako. Kung natakot ako, ayokong ipaalam sa kanila, nag-positive ako. So, ilan pa siguro yung mga nag-positive dito sa amin I was just wondering, the numbers that we know, the reported cases, and the actual cases, it really won't add up. Kasi paano kung marami pang hospital at mar or yung sa hospital na pinagpatestan ko ay marami silang, eh hindi nila nire-report yung mga positive cases at sasabihan lang nila yung pasyente, e report nyo na lang po ito sa barangay. So what if, ayoko, what if nahiya ako, what if nahihiya ako, what if natatakot ako i-report kasi baka kung ano mangyari. So paano kung itago ko na lang sa sarili ko and there are a lot of hospitals din talaga na who, who reports, di ba, the actual numbers? Pero itong napag-anuhan ko is hindi niya nireport. Yun lang. Yung food ko, hindi na siya nakaplato, pero na nasa disposable ng mga lalagyan na parts easier. Tapang derecho, walang contact. So every day, also make sure, in-order ko to. The day na nag, uh, nagpa-antigen ako, so... Nag-order agad ako nitong air disinfectant, fog disinfectant, basta yung nag-uusok-usok. Then, like everyday, lagi na ako nag-disinfect ng room. Kasi yun yung isa sa mga binaliwala ko, like, disinfecting the room and just being clean. Turn it on. Wait for the green light. Wait for the green light to turn on. Resident Evil na dito sa kwarto. 
And that every day, pinupuno ko ng usok to. Actually, dapat wala ko dito. I'm out. I can't breathe. Ito yung buong kwarto, so... Probably one of the highlights. Hindi mga highlights, but the best part, finally, be able to smell again. Pagpasok mo ng bathroom, maamoy mo yung sabon, kape na tinitimpla mo, maamoy mo bigla. Pag kumakain ka, may lasa na ulit. Yung tosino, may lasa na ulit. Naramdaman ko siya, bumalik siya around day 8, day 9. Day 10, dun ko nasabi na parang, mm, parang fully na restore na. I wanted to finish the 14 day quarantine. Kahit uh, bumalik na siya ng day 10, syempre kailangan pa rin tapusin talaga yung 14 days just to be sure and then have myself checked again. Nagpa-test uli ako. Nagpa-swab test uli ako. Come day 12, day 13, parang slowly bumabalik na lang din yung routine ko dito sa bahay and bumalik yung drive ko to create content. Though, nung mga day 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, meron naman but medyo hirap eh because when you're when you're going through something, sometimes it's hard. But uh, you have to push yourself. That's what I've learned. Because kasi kahit may mga ganun eh, day 4, 5, 6, 7, mga panahon na yun. Trying to, still trying to push myself to create content for TikTok, uh, for my page, and Holy Week. It was a perfect time also, siguro, for me to really spend time with God. So yeah. Then come day... 14. Day today, April 5, day 14. Bumalik na yung pangamoy, bumalik na yung panlasa. Praise God. Yeah. Uh, 5.11 ah. And uh, if you wanna share something, no? I don't know if I've shared this dito sa vlog. I've always loved my bubong moments. Every time umakit ako dito sa bubong, ang kalma lang. And I've been doing that for the past few days. The reason why is I just wanna share something. I don't know if na feel nyo rin to na every sunset, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Kapag nasa kwarto, pag nasa enclosed space ako, specifically my room, or let's say sa sala, or nasa loob ng bahay, meron akong uneasy feeling pag yung nararamdaman ko nang nag-change na yung atmosphere na parang dahan-dahan ng dumidilim. I don't know, parang hindi ko ma-explain. Hindi naman siya lungkot, hindi naman siya... Parang ayoko lang talaga yung feeling. Uneasy siya na parang hindi... Hindi siya relaxing, na parang naaligaga ako pag gano'n, na parang 5 o'clock na, 5.30 na, na dahan-dahan ng dumidilim, parang kakaiba. I don't know if, comment nyo naman kung nararamdaman nyo yun. But, and nitong nag-quarantine ako, every time 5.30 na, magagabi na ulit, na parang oh, another day has passed. Nakatulong tong pag-akyat ko dito sa bubong because I usually, uh, because I usually spend the sunset here. I mean, okay naman ako sa sunsets. Don't get me wrong. I love sunsets. Lalo pag nasa beach or pag nasa open space or kahit itong nag-quarantine ako, what I did was sabi ko, akit ako sa bubong ng sunset and it's that eh. I think perspective. Paano ba siya ma-explain? I'd get to appreciate the sunset more, yung pagbaba ng araw dahil iniba ko lang yung way or kung paano ko siya haharapin. Does that make sense? Na imbes na spend ko yung time sa loob ng kuwarto, I'd rather change my perspective or change my position, my location para ma-experience yung bagay na nagkukos ng uneasiness sa akin. Nung ginawa ko yun, nag-flip. Na imbes na uneasiness yung maramdaman ko, it's more of mas na-enjoy ko na. Mas nare-relax na ako. Mas, mas na-appreciate ko na yung moment ko sometimes. No, most of the time, I would usually just, parang gusto ko lang mag-fast forward na parang from 4pm, pwede bang fast forward na tayo sa 7pm? Yung diretso, madilim na lang. Yung bigla ang switch na lang. Wala na yung transition na padilim. Kasi parang ayoko ng pagdaanan yung uneasiness, yung struggle na, ah, tapos na naman yung araw, ah, palubog na naman yung araw. But my bubong moments, yun yung nakatulong sa akin to cope up with that. Yeah. So yun lang naman yung gusto kong ishare. As I end my 
14 day quarantine. April 7, I tested negative. Like what I said, uh, my case wasn't as severe as the others or yung mga naram naranasan ng iba. But uh, looking back, the fact that I got COVID was uh, kind of unbelievable. It pag sinasabi ko yun, parang di pa rin But still, you know, my experience it's totally different from others also. Yung mas grabe yung symptoms, and iba yung kailangan ng itakbo sa ICU, yung iba nahihirapan kasi yung isolation nila, wala silang makausap, wala silang makasama, nasa loob lang talaga sila ng kwarto and they can't go out. And that's why yung tone na gusto kong mangyari dito sa story, those experience ko na to is more of how I went through it and not about Oh, I have COVID. It's sad. It is sad, but my mas sad pang situations. And we know people, you have friends, I have friends who have or had or meron pa rin COVID. And iba yung nararamdaman nila, iba yung nararamdaman ko, iba yung experience ko, iba yung experience nila. The reason why I made this video is because what helped me through having COVID was knowing that I know people, I know someone, or I've seen videos on YouTube that na share nila yung experience nila and kung paano nila hinadal yung COVID mentally, physically, na pagdaanan nila. That gave me strength. That helped me cope. That helped me process things. And thinking na kung kaya nila, kinaya nila, kakayanin ko din to. And that's why I've decided to do this video is to serve as an encouragement if you, you're watching, kung meron ka man o nagkaroon ka man or may symptoms kang nararamdaman ngayon ng COVID, know that you can, you can get through it. Mahirap sa umpisa. Yeah, aside from my family and knowing the fact that I can get through it, ang ultimate strength talaga came from the Lord. Uh, it is scary. It was all by God's grace na I survived, my friends survived, and people are gonna survive. If you're watching, if you have COVID, I pray for God's healing powers be upon you. And I pray that God would restore your strength, your smell, your taste. Na mawala yung ubo na yan, yung nararamdaman mo, sakit ng katawan mo. Jesus' name. I just want to end with that prayer. I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's my story. Essentially, I'm a bit hard, but yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>